What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Sealy Strategics. It's your boy Stassar Sealy and we back with another bang 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 ba bang bang banger of a video and on today's episode man this is going to be part two of the core essentials belt review i worn it for like the last couple weeks i think it was like the last two and a half weeks or so i worn it every single day every day literally worn this belt every day i'm gonna give you guys my review and get tell you guys what i think about this give you my honest to god review and what i feel about this we actually did a little weight force test these belts are rated to about 500 pounds of force to actually make it fail and we did a little test you know what i'm saying and so we're gonna go ahead into that and then i'm gonna go ahead and give you guys my positive and i'm gonna give you guys my negative things about this belt which is not a lot just <laughs> you know know what i'm saying spoiler alert it's not a lot man it's not a lot of bad things with this belt but it, it, it do have a few little things that i'm basically nitpicking about just just kind of personal things no big deal just some negatives that you know that i found with the belt or some things that i wish that could be changed or fixed on that belt and yeah we're just gonna get into it man but anyways let's go ahead and roll that beautiful sealer strategics intro Here we are with the Core Essentials belt, man. Honestly, right off the top, this belt is worth every single cent that you pay for it. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's worth every cent, man. So, most reviews, they go ahead and they start off and they tell you guys all the great stuff about it. You know, it's so great. It's a great belt. Blah, blah, blah. It's good. It's good. Get it. Get it. Get it. And today, on this review, I'm going to switch it up a little bit. I'm going to start with the negatives. <laughs> I'm going to start with the negatives first, you know what I'm saying? Just get that out the way and then we're going to give it all the praises because I'm pretty sure if you guys see any review of the Core Essentials Bells, I, I haven't seen one person with a bad thing to say about Core Essentials. So, I mean, just little nitpicking things, kind of the same thing with me also. But today, we're going to start off with the negatives. So, my first negative about this belt, like I said, it's not a big, big deal. But it is kind of a, a little negative because I found myself having a little issue uh, with the release buttons it's really not a big deal but for me i would like if maybe there's a way how instead of having to instead of having to pull outwards on it because you have to you see this little release button i have to you have to push it forward to, to release it like i said it's not a big deal it's really not a big deal i'm really reaching on this one but just for me personally if there is a way how to release button if i can just push it upwards so instead of pushing outwards like this to release it like this you have to push out you have to push outwards to release it see i'm pushing on my thumb is pushing it outwards to release it right now see that so if instead of pushing outwards with my thumb if there's if there would be a way that i could just press upwards just pull it upwards and press it upwards to release it i think i think that would make it a little bit easier and faster to adjust the belt that's just my personal opinion man i'm not a scientist i'm not you know what i'm saying i'm not no scientist I'm, I'm not breaking down but i just feel instead of having to to pull with the the buckle to release it i feel like if if there was a way how i could just press upwards press it upwards to release i think that will be a little bit better that's just like i said i'm just nitpicking i'm just really really nitpicking man this is just this is just i'm just nitpicking it's not a deal breaker it's really not a big deal it's really not but core essentials if there's any way if you guys are looking at this if there's any way that the release button instead of having to pull out with my finger if it will, if i will be able to just press upward just push up on the button just push up on it and release it that would be pretty cool but it's really not a big deal just i don't know just see maybe if you guys play around with the idea i don't mean i don't know we'll see the second thing that i notice about the core central belt honestly after i realized what this negative was I tried it out with my other EDC belts, my Wolf Tactical, and they all did the same thing. So I don't think it's a, a problem exclusive to Core Essentials. 
but I did notice that I noticed that the belt was like rubbing against my stomach a little bit when I bent over and it wasn't it wasn't anything bad it wasn't like a real bad you know like I was gonna get like a, a, a rug burn or something from it but I noticed it but then I decided to get my wolf tactical and my other uh, EDC belt and I decided to do the same test and I bent over and the same thing was happening with the other belt. So it could just be I need to lose a little bit of weight. You know what I'm saying? I got a little bit of pudge in the front. You know what I'm saying? I got a little bit of gut. You know, maybe it just could be I just need to do some sit-ups. But that's just one thing that I noticed. Now, like I said, it's not a negative towards the belt because when I tried it with the other gun belts, with my other gun belts, the same thing was happening. That's just one thing that I need to really pay attention to that and see what's the reasoning is it just because my gut is too big <laughs> you know what i'm saying it's hanging over or something but i don't know but i was the only thing that i noticed i was the only real thing that i noticed and like i said it only happened when i literally bent over to pick something off in the ground but bending over halfway from a certain height i wasn't feeling it, it was only when i bent over to get something off the ground i felt it rubbing against my stomach so like i said it happened with every single belt that i use even regular belts that's not gun belts or concealed carry belts or anything like that it happens so like i said i think that's just a me problem i think i need to work on me and fix me but that was that was one of the negatives that i seen i don't even know if i should mention that because i noticed it with every other belt also so i don't know so the third and final negative like i said there's only three negative things i can find about this belt and two of them is really not a big deal it's just me personal personal stuff that i'm finding like i literally had to find things wrong with this belt <laughs> like you know what i'm saying like these problems that these negative that i had with the belt i literally had to look for them i had to look for problems for this belt because core essentials designed a really good belt they designed it really really well so i literally had to look for things wrong with this belt but the first two things that the first two negative that I just mentioned, those are really small nitpicking things that it's not really a big deal. But the one real issue that I did find about this belt, and I don't want to call it an issue, but the one negative about this belt is the buckle. I just wish the buckle somehow was just a little bit slimmer. Because when I put my gun belt, my concealed gun, when I put my holster on, let's say, let's say I try to put the my holster on. On the front with the buckle right the problem i was having with the buckle is that with my the way how my the way how my snaps is set up on my holster there's absolutely no way for me to connect this belt <laughs> there's no way for me to have the buckle in the front that's the only thing and the reason why is that the the top buckle see the top part of the buckle that you see right here that's fine if it was just that then I could actually wear my holster with the buckle like that up front. But the problem comes, let me open this up. The problem comes with the back of the buckle. This back part of the buckle is the reason why I can't wear my holster to the front if I wanted to with this. This is the problem that I'm having. This is the one issue that I had with the buckle. If there's a way that Core Essentials, if there's a way that you can just make this part somehow a little bit slimmer or a little bit shorter so that way when the but when when the belt is connected see when the belt is connected if there is a way how i can just if you can just make this part just a little bit smaller so these snaps can fit now like i said this this is the mechanitech holster the snaps are a little bit i guess i mean i don't know if it's too close to each other compared to other be other holsters i don't know if tier one concealed holsters is going to have the same problem i don't know i don't have a bunch of different holsters i stick to mechanitech because this is what i like for my mechanitech holster setup if i wanted to wear my belt my belt buckle in the front i literally can't i literally can't wear my buckle in the front with my gun belt even if i wanted to mind you when i wear my concealed carry belts any one of them i always have the buckle off to the side regardless that's why you see the belt protector is here because this is where i set up my holster when i'm carrying my edc this is how i hook it up right here this is how i wear it and i can't just struggling with this belt on the camera right now it wants to fight me so as you can see the belt protector is here because that's how i usually carry my belt it's not a gigantic deal that i can't wear my holster in the front or i can't wear the buckle in the front with my holster it's not a gigantic deal 
but there's a lot of people out there who don't like wearing their buckles off to the side they want their buckles up front where it's supposed to be and like i said i don't know about every other holster company brand out there but i know for specifically for my holsters my mechanitech holsters that i have the way how the buckle is i cannot wear the buckle up front with this holster because it won't let me do it it won't let me snap you see there's no way for me let me try to there's no way for me i can snap one but i won't be able to snap the second into place so that's my biggest gripe and my only real big negative and issue if the buckle was just a little bit thinner just a little bit thinner if we can core essentials if we can shave down just a little bit just a little bit of the thickness and i understand that it's thick because of the ratcheting system and the way how the, bu the, the belt is designed i understand the buckle kind of have to be as thick as it is but if there's any way we can make the buckle just a little bit thinner and just make this back part of the buckle and just make this back part right here if we can just make it just a little bit shorter just a little bit i only need let me see how much let me see how much space i actually need to connect my holster to the buckle up front if the buckle up front if i wanted to wear the buckle up front i only need like okay there it goes see it, it won't it won't let me connect to it uh it, it did you know what it did fit it did fit with the buckle up front wow okay so i take it back so i had to fight so i had to fight with this right i had to fight with this but it does fit with the buckle up front but i kind of had to fight with it so so even though my holster actually did fit with the buckle up front i'm gonna take back what i just said i made it fit but still there's a problem even though i made it fit the way how the belt the way how it's set up right here i'm not gonna be able to adjust I'm not, like the way how my holster is the holster like for example my the clip for my holster is literally blocking the belt the, the belt release so i can't get to the belt release even if i wanted to so even though the holster actually did fit with the buckle on there i still can't work the belt i can't loosen it up and i can't tighten it up so that's because like i said this part of the the buckle the back side of the buckle that you're not going to see this little part right here that's blocking if this could be a little bit thinner and a little bit shorter then it might be able to work so that's like i said that's the biggest gripe that's the biggest problem that i've had with this belt it's just if i choose to wear the buckle up front i can't i, I had to fight to get it on there first of all and when I, once i get it on there now i can't use i can't function the belt i literally can't i can't release the belt because my clips on my holster is blocking the mechanism to release the belt and i can't push it in no more i guess it can go in but as you can hear it's not it's not even sounding like it's ratcheting properly so it's it's ratchet it's going in but it's not making the clicking sound because everything is all tight and rubbing against each other right now with the buckle up front so like i said that's my biggest gripe with this holster is the buckle if we could just make the buckle just a little bit thinner a little bit shorter right here in the back side of the buckle if we can just make that a little bit thinner a little bit shorter then this will probably work and if you choose to wear your buckle up front with your edc pistol and holster you can but for right now until that issue is fixed i will not i cannot be i will not be able to wear my holster with the buckle up front so i will have to continue to wear it off to the side like i normally wear it sorry for interrupting the video i know you guys are all into it but i need to take a quick second to give a big shout out and thank you to the channel sponsors wicked arms customs and tactical pontoon triggers thank you guys for supporting the channel thank you guys for sponsoring the channel now let's get back to this content now that i now that i pointed out my three negatives for this belt we're gonna go into the positives that most of you guys already know these are the positives from the belt like i said i have three negative two of them eh, two of them doesn't really it's kind of eh, whatever but i have one legit negative and that's the buckle and you know what i'm saying we already covered that so let's get into the positive one of the first biggest positives about this belt is the looks the looks of the belt the designs of the belt the different options for buckles and belt combinations 
that's to me that's one of the biggest pluses a lot of companies don't do that there I don't a matter of fact I don't know if there's another company out there that you can mix and match your buckles and belts so to me that's a super plus for this belt the looks and designs number two like I just mentioned the second positive about this belt is that you can mix and match <laughs> I just mentioned it in my first one you know with, with the looks and design but the fact that I can mix and match these buckles that's that's a huge positive for me um, any buckle and belt of the same size you can mix and match and there's a bunch of designs on the website that you can check out you choose a buckle you choose a belt you can mix and match if I want to have this belt with this buckle but I want this belt in a different color let's say a multicam multicam black or if I want it tan or blue or gray I could just get the belt and then I could just re remove the buckle and put it onto a new belt and I can mix and match like like that so to me that's a big plus not a lot of companies give you that options that's a huge plus for me number three the third positive about this belt is the adjustable ratcheting system this is just a stroke of genius in my book because anything that I can get in and out of fast and seamlessly to me that's a plus the fact that I can just push this button and slide the belt off and if I have my belt I can tighten it up I could just literally just push it in if I need to to tighten it up to me it's a, that's a big plus this ratcheting system is ingenious and hats off hooray bravo for this rail system I love it the fourth positive about this core essentials belt is just the materials the materials is really really good materials this belt does not feel cheap at all and look at this I've been wearing this belt for the last two weeks and look at this I'm holding it up from the buckle and look at that look how rigid this belt is look how rigid this belt is <laughs> and I've been wearing this every day for the last two weeks man you know I've I've I've, I've even lift a hundred pounds of weight with this belt and look at this it still have a shape I lift a hundred pounds of weight with this belt I'm gonna get to that demonstration in a little bit just hold on the materials is really good the belt it's just really good it looks really nice it looks really classy it looks really dressy it doesn't look too tactical all the materials is just excellent quality that's another plus in my book the fifth positive about this belt is the belt locking mechanism it's really really nice just it just looks clean it looks nice it doesn't look all crazy in the back even though it's the back of the belt it still looks nice it still looks like this is part of the belt like this look like you're supposed to show this the, the, the back of the buckles man the way how you lock the belt into the buckle this system with the with the two allen screws with the clamp down mechanism on it this is excellent this is genius this is I love it I just love it <laughs> I love it man that's all I can say about it man I just love it nothing else to say about it the number six thing that I like about this belt is the durability, man. This belt is a real durable belt. This is an everyday carry belt, but I'm pretty sure this can double as a duty belt because it's just so rigid. It's so firm. It's so, I mean, it's just, it's just, look at this. It still has the shape. It still, after two weeks of wearing this straight with my guns, I worn this with my shadow system and my Glock 23, man. No issues at all. Zero issues. It's just, it's just still in good shape. It's, it looks good. I mean, there's nothing bad to say about it, man. The number seven positive thing about a, this Core Essentials belt is how comfortable it was to wear while concealing a gun. It literally surprised me. I wasn't expecting it to be as comfortable as it was. I know since day one, I've always preached about you want to have a really good concealed carry belt so you can be comfortable while carrying a gun. I said that from day one. I've always been preaching it. I've always been preaching it. You need a good gun belt so when you're carrying a gun, concealed carry, it's comfortable. This Core Essentials belt and buckle combination, it literally made carrying my guns super comfortable another thing that i noticed too when i was carrying my my mechanitech holster with my firearms in it either my shadow systems or my glock 23 i noticed that before in my in my wolf tactical belt when i would wear my wolf tactical concealed carry belt when i had this belt connected to when i had the holster connected to this belt i used to have a little soreness in my pelvic area like about right here like about right here in my pelvic area when I'm carrying my gun it sits right here and the bottom of the holster right here would dig into my that little this little area right here this little pelvic area so when I'm sitting that would this little part of the holster would be digging into that little pelvic region that I just showed you about 
And I've always noticed that with my wolf tactical belts and my other concealed carry belts that I have, I've always felt that it was digging in right here. It wasn't it wasn't like super bad where I didn't want to carry my my gun anymore like that it was just noticeable i'll just get that little soreness like while i'm wearing it i guess i got so used to it that i, I didn't really notice it while i'm wearing it but afterwards late uh, at night when i'm laying in bed i'll be like yo why is my why is my inner thigh somewhere like that and that's from the holster rubbing up against it i've noticed in the last two weeks when i was wearing this mechanic holster with this core essentials belt that wasn't the case that little part wasn't digging into me anymore and I don't know if it's because the belts are just a little bit more rigid I don't know if it's because it's a little bit more thick or I don't know if it's because I have the belt protection sleeve on right here and it's giving that little bit of thickness is pushing the bottom out away from me I don't know exactly what it is but all I know is I have not had that digging sensation that soreness in my thigh from it rubbing up against me right here I have not felt that in two weeks that alone is a big super plus and positive for me the comfortability of wearing this belt with your holster is a1 definitely an a plus the number eight thing that i like about the core essentials belt the ease of use like the how easy it was to size it it was super easy to size it it was super easy to put it together so easy even a caveman can do it that's a big plus for me because i don't like reading directions I just like to just open stuff and look at it and figure it out and that's exactly what I was able to do with this belt I literally just opened it up took out the parts put it together literally just looked at everything put it cut cut it to size and put it together I didn't need any type of special extra tools that came with the little allen wrench that I needed and it was just super easy and to me that's a big plus in my book with anything not just belts but anything in life where it's super easy to assemble is a plus in my book the number nine thing that I like about this belt is just the adjustability man the ratcheting system it's super easy to adjust i mean you can't beat that there's nothing else better than this right now to adjust your belt just okay you know what it's a little bit loose let me just boom push it in oh it's a little bit tight let me just pull that out and boom and just it's just so easy to adjust you don't even have to look at it you don't even have to look down at your belt to adjust this you can literally just sit at the table or whatever stand there whatever you're doing and literally just push this button loosen it up tighten it up loosen it up tighten it up loosen it up tighten it up loosen tighten it's like the fact that it's so easy to adjust it's just there's nothing else to say it's super easy to adjust and i love that about it the number 10 thing that i like about the core essentials belt is the branding the branding isn't in your face it's not a big core essentials it's not a big k i think they do have a big k belt i don't i can't don't quote me on that but i, I could have sworn i remember seeing a big k i don't know if it was core essentials or another brand what i like about it is that they don't have their branding all over the belt it's not a big core essentials back here it's not a big core essentials on the buckle now the only branding that i seen on this belt is behind the buckle right here it has it says core and it has a core logo and then right here behind this spot behind this little bar right here it says coreessentials.com the only other branding that is on this belt is on the inside of the belt right here right here it says core essentials and i don't even think you're going to be able to pick that up honestly because it's just embossed into the belt to me like i said that's a big plus the only brand that i want to be flaunting around and showing the whole world big and bold is my own brand see the strategic merchandise <laughs> but no man i like the fact that they kept their branding to the minimum i don't like to just have the company's branding all over like I, I like to stay low-key with my stuff you know and if anybody knows anything about firearms and they see core essentials they're gonna know like oh they're, like say for example if i have my gun cover but then the back of the belt it says core essentials big and bold people on like my shirt is up and you can see it somebody's gonna know right off the top that it's most likely a 70 per 80 percent chance that i'm carrying a gun because i'm wearing a core essentials belt even though core essentials do have regular dress belts that are not gun belts still most likely that's what i said it is a 70 to 80 percent chance that if you see somebody the back of the belt says core essentials there's most likely a gun gonna be in the front to me that's just common sense so i like that there's not a lot of excessive branding i like that it's pretty low-key and they kept their branding to the minimum i love that keep it up the number 11 thing the 11th and final thing that i like about this core essentials belt is i like the fact that it can fit in almost every single belt loop for pants that i have i have not put on a pants that this belt doesn't fit in 
and to me that's a big plus one of the negatives about the cobra buckles of my wolf tactical concealed carry belt is that the belt itself would fit in belt loops but the buckles the cobra buckles will not fit in a lot of pant loops so to me for the wolf tacticals that was one of the biggest negatives is that i can't wear certain pants with that belt because the cobra buckles won't fit inside the loops and what i like about the core essentials is that this is like a regular belt it looks like a regular belt so it fits in regular belt loops and to me that's a big plus so before i give you my final thoughts the core essentials belt is rated for over 500 pounds of force to make this fill you need 500 pounds of force to be able to pull this apart and make this buckle system fail i did a little test and i strapped the belts through the weights and i picked it up and i was jerking it up and down and it didn't budge it didn't make a noise it didn't show any type of stress or anything mind you it was just 100 pounds but still I don't think there's any regular person out there that's going to be that's going to have 500 pounds of force pulling on this belt for whatever reason. I just can't think of a reason why anybody, any normal person would have 500 pounds of force pulling this trying to pull this belt apart. Here it is. Let's check out the test. So we're going to be doing a weight test. Core Central states that it takes about 500 pounds of force to make this belt fail. So we're going to put it to the test today. I hope it doesn't mess up the belt, man, because I really want to keep this core essentials, man. All right, so I'm going to just do the 50 pound first just to see how it performs. And I'm going to pick it up. All right, let me turn the camera. All right, 50 pounds of force and it's handling it. It's not even budging, not even moving a little bit. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add the 25. This is 75 pounds. And then we're going to add another 25. That's 100 pounds right there. Ratchet it up. Hold on. All right. So the ratchet system is in. So this is 100 pounds right here. We're going to give it a test. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, my back. All right. It's 100 pounds. And not even a budge. It didn't even move a little bit. Not even a little bit. Pretty impressed. I know that says 100 pounds. But, hey, if you're carrying more than 100 pounds of gear in this belt, something's wrong with you. All right, so there it was, man, my little at-home test. It was just 100 pounds. First, I used 50. It was nothing. I put on another 50 pounds. And like I said, there was no type of stress noises. There was no type of creaking and cracking. It was just like, that's, that's all you got. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So anyways, man, my overview and the Core Essentials belt. Like I said in the first video, in my in my first initial video of the Core Essentials belt, they sent it to me to review. So here I am. I reviewed it. And this is my hands to God honest opinion about this belt. I am not paid by Core Essentials. Like I said, if they want to send me some more belts to review, I'll be more than glad to, to review those belts. But I'm going to continue to give my honest opinions because that's the only way companies are going to get better is if you give them honest feedback. And like I said, the three negatives that I had about this belt was two of them was really not even big deals. They were just I literally had to nitpick and find something to you know complain about this belt but the one major negative for me was the buckle issue that i mentioned like i said if we can make the buckle if we can get the buckle just a little bit thinner and get the back portion of the buckle if we can just get this back portion just a little bit smaller and a little bit thinner a little bit shorter i think that will be perfect if you guys are in the market to to buy a, a everyday carry belt i highly recommend core essentials i give it a hundred percent thumbs up a hundred percent go they're definitely worth the price they definitely work whatever price you buy them for they're definitely worth it because you will feel i literally felt the difference until i wore this core essentials belt i was a big wolf tactical fan <laughs> and i know a lot of people are like how wolf tacticals is, is like a cheap brand or whatever i mean to me it's not about the money it's not about the pricing it's about what works and what doesn't work and wolf tactical was in the price range that I wanted to pay for a for everyday carry belt and it worked but like I said it also had its negatives you know what I'm saying which and the big negative was a cobra buckle but if you're in the market for an everyday carry gun belt and you'd want a belt that looks that you can wear in a suit you can put this belt on with a suit you can put this belt on with jeans you can put this belt on with khakis you know cargo pants whatever if you want a belt that just looks low-key that doesn't look like a that doesn't scream look at me i'm a gun belt if you want a belt that is low-key and just low profile and just not standoffish and not all in your face 
I recommend the core essentials. There are many buckle and belt options that you can choose from. So it's not just this. This is just one of them. This was the X3 belt buckle, I believe it's called. I have nothing but good things to say about this belt, man. Like I said, if you're in the market for a, a concealed carry belt, the core essentials is definitely worth it. Whatever you're going to pay for it is going to be worth it. They're not that, to me, they're not that expensive. They're definitely worth it. If you're thinking about getting a core essentials belt, there's nothing to think about. Just go out and get it, man. <laughs> I def I will not I will not lie to you guys, man. If you want a gun belt that's gonna last, that looks good, good quality, you know what I'm saying? It just functions great. It just there it's just everything is good about it. Go ahead and get your core essentials belt, man. I promise you you won't regret it. So if you guys gonna get this belt, make sure you use our discount code Sealy Strategics 10 for a 10% discount off your core essentials belt. But anyways, man, that's gonna be it for today. This is my final review of the Core Essentials belt. I hope you guys enjoy it. And if you guys are on the fence about getting a Core Essentials belt, hop off the fence. Go on and get you that belt, man. But until next episode, it's your boy, Stash Sergeant Sealy. Before we get out of here, remember, be greater than you were yesterday. Always stay ready so you don't have to get ready. We live to train and we train to live. Make sure you guys like. Make sure you guys subscribe. Make sure you guys hit that notification bell. Make sure you guys turn on notifications so you guys get notified every time we drop a new banging video. It's your boy, Stas Arn Sealy. We out. Peace.